this is the research model that we want to test. Um, you see there are five, um, let's say, exogenous variables or independent variables. So these five variables explain attitude and then attitude explains intention to use Amos. Um, later I will discuss, I will show, I will tell you that this is a mediator and this is the dependent variable. But here in the model so far, what we know is we have five um, exogenous variables and two endogenous variables. Okay, so um, perhaps maybe um, the hypothesis for this model can be the relationship between these um, seven factors, right? Let's say the direct relationship between all these factors. So these five factors with this one, and then attitude with this one, and then maybe these five with intention to use Amos. Uh, so how to test this one? So at the end, we want to test some hypothesis, right? Um, so we do a PhD or we do a research to test some hypothesis. And um, in this model, the hypothesis we assume are the relationship between these seven factors. But how to test? Based on uh, what I explained to you, after data cleaning, what we need to do is to test the uh, measurement model. And this is called CFA, or confirmatory factor analysis. So you need to draw the model like this. So this is a CFA model. So you see all seven factors are here. One, two, three, four, five. These are the five factor, five, um, let's say, independent variables, the five constructs. So you can see them here. And then you have, you see the mediation, uh, uh, the mediator attitude and intention as well. Attitude and intention. So all, all constructs that you have in the model have been included in CFA, in the measurement model, and their items. For example, subjective norms have been measured with five questions. So the five questions, five items, five measures, whatever you want to name it, are already here. So uh, what you can see basically here, uh, the focus is on the measurements, how we measure subjective norms, how we measure image, how we measure job relevance, and so on. And then, because the relationships, I mean the path, the path, this path, the effect of these factors on attitude, the effect of attitude on intention, is not our concern in measurement model, and the focus is on measurement. We just covariate all of these factors. So you do not see any path from any of these constructs to the other one, right? So all have been, all have been uh, connected uh, using covariances. It means we just say that, okay, these are some constructs and we want to see whether they have been measured uh, well, right? Whether the, let's say the, uh, in, as we, the term that we used before, whether the, a hypothesized model, um, you know, um, is similar to the uh, observed model, right? And then we will go, when the model fit is good, we will test the relationship between the constructs. So anyway, let me summarize what I want to say here, what I said here. When we want to test a model, the first step is to draw the model, to construct the model, to yeah, in Amos like this. So when you draw the model in Amos, it should be, it must be like this in the first stage, and this in the first stage, and this is called CFA. So just put all constructs and their fact and their items, and then covariate all of them. That's all. So when you uh, draw the uh, CFA model or measurement model, make sure, as we discussed, you have fixed one of the um, factor loadings for each construct at one. You can see one has been fixed at one, and all error terms path from the, I mean, the path from errors to uh, the items have been fixed at one. And make sure you have connected all these constructs using covariances, uh, I mean, the double headed arrows uh, to each other. And that's all. This is a CFA model. And then um, some of some I have seen some people ask whether we need to put all constructs in the model. Yes, we do not test them one by one separately, right? The results will be different. So you put all constructs together because they because the relationship between the items of each construct with the items of other constructs should be assessed to. And then when you are sure that the model fit is good, then 
you take the model to the next stage, which is structure equation modeling, or we call it structural model assessment. So this is actually a uh, structural model. Uh, so again, you see the five um, fact, five constructs, the I, five independent variables or five constructs that are predicting, uh, yeah, the predictors in the model. You have attitude and intention. So this model, SCM, is very similar to the model that we want to test, right? So, but we take the constructs and, on, and their uh, measurements from this model, CFA, to this one. As you can see, there are some changes, right? You see, there are some small things here that we will discuss later. And some, one, some of the items have been removed. Why? Because to fit the model, to improve the model fit, we made some small changes and we got we removed maybe one of the items here, one of the questions here, we covariated some of the error terms, and then when the model fit is good, we take all these to the next step. We will discuss this later, and this is the structure, structure model, and you can see the path are there now, you see the path. And th in this stage, we test the hypothesis and uh, we report the findings, right? So when you draw a structure model, make sure that you have covariated all independent variables or all exogenous variables. You see these covariances here. And any endogenous variable, any endogenous, as you remember, means any variable that, a, uh, that its variance is explained, uh, part of its variance is explained by the factors in the models, by the uh, variables in the models. It means any variable that um, there is, if often you see a single-headed arrow goes to a variable, that variable is an endogenous variable. So all endogenous variables, it means all variables that are dependent on other factors, other constructs in the model, other variables in the model, they need an error term. So this is why we have two error terms here. So this is something you need to make sure that you have address, and then you can test your model. Right. So uh, in the next video, I want to show you um, how to uh, how to assess your measurement model, and then of, after we completed the um, CFA stage, I will show you how to um, test how to assess your structure model and test your hypothesis.